Yeah, okay. So you gotta be a best man, bro. Oh yes, sir. You I am. Tux. You gonna get a tux? You got a tux? Yeah. Actually, no. I don't know if I'm gonna wear a tux. I, I mean, I you guess. You gonna go Jerry way? Go well, Jerry way. I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna go down. The nah, I, I wish I could do that. If I, if I wasn't the best man, I would definitely go the Jerry way yeah. for sure. Oh, for sure. I would go shirtless Kanye. I would do shirtless Kanye. <laughs> I promise no, you, no, cause it's Louis. Uh, I, I I know like yes, I'll be like yo, bro. He, he won't kick you out. Yeah, yeah he, he, won't he, he can't out. kick me out. So I would <laughs> definitely. No, nah, he can't kick me out. You not gonna kick me out. So we were talking about this today. We're like, all right. So I told him, look. We gonna talk about this whenever y'all choose your colors, but I'm I'm definitely gonna gonna get you right. We gonna talk about what we gonna wear and. Uh, you, so you the fashion designer. For oh, wedding. one thousand percent because you, you know you're, you're one, I'm, let me tell you one thing I noticed about weddings. Oh, that let me use it. I feel comfortable. Like. Yeah, yeah, for cool. sure. For, okay, cool. So let me tell you one thing I've noticed about weddings. One thing I've realized about weddings is that everyone likes to rent like the tux or you yeah, know yeah. especially for the groomsmen and, and whatnot because you know they're probably not gonna use it again. And the problem with renting is that you can't really tailor, tailor it down. So it all looks baggy. Exactly. So they might just hem your pants on. Yeah, that, that's not going down with me. You get me? I can't even wear jeans like like without you get me getting them tailored. So for sure. So all right, bro. It's cool. You know, whatever we do, just know that it's going to get tailored for sure. You get me? It ain't going to be no like bullshit. But mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. the wedding is in Nicaragua. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. So it's going to be location wedding. Um, He's going to have women stand on his side. So he's not going to only have groomsmen. According to him, so I don't know how that's gonna keep going down. So it's gonna be an interesting uh thing. That's cool. Yeah. Hashtag feminism. Yeah, man. You know, Congratulations. All women and men are the same, right? Congratulations to my boy uh, Lou for uh, getting engaged. Um, yeah, man. Kind of crazy to think. Yeah. You're next. Yeah, three to five. Like that's did did you uh when when you told me that did like oh yeah I knew that did you know it was gonna happen this soon? Yeah. You did. I, I've been telling you this. How you know it's gonna happen this soon? I can see it in a guy's eyes. Really? Yeah. I know it's gonna happen this soon. Like, like that's why people people don't be believing me when I say three to five. Yeah. But I've been holding down three to five for three to five. You know what I'm saying? You like, saying three to five years you'll get married? Yeah. Um, three to five years from today. For today. So, be, so between twenty eight and thirty years old, you'll which get married. I think is a perfect. Yeah, that's, age. that's pretty. That's a pretty good time. Yeah. yeah and so, um, I, but I've been seeing Lewis. Lewis. You get to Lewis. soak. You get to soak your royal oaks. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, you know what I'm saying? During that, that time, you get to I soak. I don't know what that means, though. You get to soak in, you know, uh, the yo, butchery. Yo, sure, sure, why not? He's like, <laughs> it's like I don't even know. And he looks away like, eh, yeah, yeah, eh, yeah. Eh, you know, eh? You get to, you know, you get to have some fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, nothing wrong with that, you know? Yeah, cool. but no, nah, but Lou, you can tell in his eyes he's been ready, bro. He's been ready. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Uh, um, there's people who caught you by surprise. His did it. Like, yeah, you know. It caught me by surprise. Really? Yeah, yeah, Because when he, uh, he called me on Friday, he told me, hey, look, you know, pull up with me. And I was like, yeah, for sure. I was like, yo, bro. Um, So, you know, like, we never actually talked. To, like, I mean, he's always said, I'm going to marry her. But I never knew it would be this soon. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, it definitely caught me by surprise. I didn't know it was going to be this soon. It's like you getting engaged right now. I'll be like, whoa. Like, no, no, no. I would be shocked. You know, I think <laughs> even when you do get engaged, I'll still be shocked. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, don't, I don't think it'll be like uh. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I saw it coming. Like, I mean, like, I'm sure it's coming, but, you know, like, I, I'll still be like, oh, damn, like, you're doing you're it. You're doing I mean? this, like, yeah, damn, it's, th- Then it's serious, you know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah. at that point, it's like, shit. Yeah, at that point, it's very real. Now, but I think what you're doing is smart, you know, three to five, and about that time, you probably get your papers, so yeah. you might be able to do other things, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, you like might have other forever. opportunities. Leave forever, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, you might have yeah. other opportunities <laughs> in your life, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might want to take advantage of. Why are you trying to of... love here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Because now I'm just saying, you just never know. You know, what I'm you like, don't never know what's up. What yeah, you're missing like, out like, on. You might go to another country and realize, oh man, like this is how it is here. Yeah. Like I, I think I've been missing out on something. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy's wild. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's <is> wild. <laughs> Oh man! No, you know, he's saying right now my mind is closed. I really haven't experienced. Yeah, you know, I just got to stir up a little bit of trouble. Okay. Now. And if I don't stir up trouble, is it really me? You know, what I'm saying? is this really I'm down if if I don't stir up a little bit? If you of just trouble? behave, mind your own yeah, business. Yeah, you know, we gotta, you know, every now and then throw throw a little bit of fun at it. You know what I mean? So nah, it, bro, that's crazy. It, it depends. Yeah, man, but it's uh interesting interesting times we live in, man. So let me ask you this real quick now. So Lewis got taken down. Let's say that guy, you know, bam. What do you think about? Bachelor parties when you're a Christian, like what? What's that like? Are, do, do they s- even exist or like is that not like a thing? Like what's well, that? Well, I've never been invited to one, so okay. I don't know what that looks like. I'm okay. assuming because you get to have the boring version of <laughs> of the hangover, yeah. so like you know, well, like you, you know do, when that, you know when the hangover where where Stu is like, oh, we're just gonna have dinner and just yeah, hang yeah, out. just I chill. imagine that that's what you're gonna do. Just have dinner, uh. have a glass of wine, and just kind of kick rocks. I feel like we do that anyways, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't know. I well, don't know. I, I don't know. For me, it's like, I think the bachelor party for Christians also doesn't really matter. 
because you're not looking at it like, yo, I can't do certain things anymore. You couldn't do them anyways. They were sin regardless. <laughs> well, yeah, that part's <laughs> you true. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like you're saying, because when you, when you do bachelor mm-hmm. parties, like, or bachelorette or bachelor party, yeah, yeah. it's like your last night of freedom. Right, But right. in Christianity, like, you don't really do half of the things anyways. Exactly. So it's like you're not really going to change <sighs> a pace like crazy. Man, I don't know, man. I mean, even, you know, like, I, I go to him, yo, we got to go to Vegas, right? So, like, I, for me, like, the thing about Vegas for me is not... It's not like uh, what most people would think, which is like strip clubs or something like that. That's not what I want to do in Vegas. Because in Vegas, it's relatively cheap, in, in my opinion, to like have a good time. And the shows and shit that you can watch. You get me? But I don't know. I don't know. Whatever he decides to do, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. But don't you get to decide? I, I'm supposed to decide, but I don't know. I don't know. That's gay, but you know. <laughs> wait, wait. What the how? No, 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 it's, it's not gay. You know what I mean? Like, it's um, actually, it's interesting. I, I, I don't really hit me anyways, like, like, cause I don't know what a best man's supposed to do. He told me, he told me, yo, go on YouTube, start watching videos. I really don't know what a best start man's supposed to do. Start watching videos. For real, what is Tutorials. a, honestly, what is a best man supposed to do? You do. Nah, nah. I thought it was like a, a woman and the nah, wedding planner. You're stuff. supposed to be part of the, everything. The for best real? man is like right along for the whole ride. You mean, for, you mean for the bachelor? Yeah, yeah. But, the but I would expect, like, the maid of honor and the bride to, like, be stressing. And the well, guys just chill in the they're back. They're stressing because they're, like, petty. But overall, it's your job. That's not the correct word. Petty. Wait, wait, wait. So, a uh, uh, best man is actually supposed to, like, be involved, though, in the in the planning of the wedding? I don't, I don't know. Nah, man, I don't think so, bro. I think, isn't that what you have a wedding planner for? Like, you get a wedding planner and then... So if you're regular, but what what kind of decision am I gonna make? I'm gonna just be like, yeah, yeah, cool. No, yeah, he's yeah, gonna cool. ask for your advice. He trusts you. That's the point of a best. He friend. trusts me. Yeah, but like, isn't I don't know. I guess you know what I don't know, man. The problem with wedding who knows nowadays, whatever. The problem with nowadays is that it's like supposed to be the girl's dream day. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's, I, what, that's what I, I'm Patina, thinking. Is the girl's Patina has to wait three to five because she hasn't understood it yet. She still says it's her date. It's not her date. No, uh, I'm not you say it's your date. I say it's my date. So we're gonna yeah. do things my way. Because to this day, she don't believe when I say only five, six people max are getting invited. Yeah, yeah. Do you actually mean that? Facts. A hundred percent. Like, I, I hope everybody goes back to this video. More than five people. Who in my family is more than five people? You don't count family in the numbers of people you invite, Fatima. Like, I don't even count George in the invitation. No. First of all, yo, hold up, hold up. Like, you expect my parents not to be in my wedding? This is, no, f- I expect them to be in your wedding. Exactly. So I'm talking about Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's getting good, so mm. I'm going to give Fatima the mic. Let this argument happen. I, like, let, let this, let's let this happen. Let's let this I, happen. I'm Come telling, on. I'm telling you, look, people that don't have any relation to me, like actual intimate relationship to yeah, me, those are people that you can take But he doesn't account. even want to invite Sammy. I'm saying he's like an F right now. He's, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> That's right. my brother. <laughs> no, no, the, only, the only person that technically isn't related to me by blood that is a given is you, clearly. Like, aside from that, it's like everybody else okay, is an F. But like, you see, feel it. <laughs> okay, exactly. You see how he says that? If I were to say that I have like people oh, automatically, they're going, he's like, no, they're not. But I don't say that about you because I know that you're family and I, you get me. Exactly, so he you know can't, his family. Yo, you don't have but family you can't. Because you're family. I do have family. Who, then what? In She ain't family. You just, you just you just said five minutes ago. I wish I had a friend. She ain't even your friend. I texted her with the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, but the no. point is, the point is like you're selfish. You think it's your it day. It's my day. It's not his day. It's time for a man to take this it's back. It's both of our days, and I think. It's a, it's our, it's I like that. Look, man, it's not your honor that she's marrying you. It's her honor you're marrying her. You know you what? You picked her. You know what? I like that, that you just said that right now. We're taking this back. Yes, I like that you said, yes. Be, you know what? Because I feel like weddings are only about the women. No. They're only about the it women, is, God it damn it. Is. It is. It is. They're it only is. about you it women is. and Facts. what you want and how you, what flower arrangement yep, you want. Yep. I think it's time for, for guys to start picking out what flower arrangement they want. Maybe guys want black roses. Yo, you know what dang. Saying? If I can find black roses, I'll it, black everything. You know what I mean? Maybe we don't want a red carpet. No. We want a black carpet. I told him, I told him that we could compromise and meet halfway to what he wants and what I want. He don't want that. He only wants it to be about him, and that's not fair. So he's not ready. I'm ready. I'm hella no, ready. No, then in that case, I'll find somebody who wants to do it my way. Huh? 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 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Roof, roof. You better shut up because all these I'm down girls are going to think you're single. <laughs> well, clearly you're in the show, right? Well, like, well th- this is what I mean by, you know, I like I like that your plan is three to five years because that's a good time. You know what I'm saying? To get something so, sorted yeah, out. Yeah, you, know, you never know. Like, out. you know, think about it. <laughs> like, three to five, I get yeah, a following. Look, exactly. Like, yo, you, the, the minute you get to travel and you get to see, like, the European girls and, like, you know, all these other women, it's, I may realize, it, it might change. I may realize the guy really took his it time. It might you know change. What I'm saying? You, you know, know what I mean? Like, it might change some things. So who knows? Hey, who knows, man? You know? No, he took a lot of time with you because he needed a lot of patience to see. Are you sure I want to build this? Am I sure I want to build this yeah, snowman? I'm right now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say nothing that was bad. No. <laughs> look at it. Look at you look know it's serious. She didn't even grab the mic. She's like, she's I ain't like, grabbing this motherfucking I, mic. I, I don't even want nobody I ain't to hear me. This motherfucking I don't want nobody mic. to hear what I got to say. I don't, I don't like how Fatima tapped her head like if she had a weave on. Like, I don't know why she did all this and Yo, this. Like, we, I don't know why you had to do that. We said it durax. We said it durax. Well, all right, man. So... I'm trying to grow waves. Let's and talk I'm about it. See George is culturally confused. You know what? Let's talk. Yeah, let's, let's talk confused. about. It. Let's talk about. It. Actually, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, so we talked about that. You're like, you're like yo, you can get waves, this and that. You told me at one point, like, yo, you should try to get waves. But you said now nah. you hating. No, no, no. You said nah. no. No, I said nah because too much work. You know what I mean? So you know, lately I've been in like. So uh, you saying that that you eventually catch up? I'm always ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, because the thing is this. Like, I was like, nah, man, it's too much work, like, you know, to, like, be brushed it. But then I realized, I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a try. You know what I mean? Like, I, I started watching some videos. And, you know, like, I guess brushing really isn't that bad. Like, especially, like, when you're in traffic. So, like, you can just brush the, the all day. The way you say it, it's like, it's like, I got to wash my hair. <laughs> like, I, well, it is because, no, because the thing is that you can't just, because, uh, for example, me, I'm so used to just putting shampoo and just, shh, like, this. Like, you can't do that no more. Well, you, you have to do it in one direction. Yeah, exactly. You have to do it in one direction. So it's a little, you know, I guess a little complicated. Okay, but your thoughts. Uh, so, yes, I bought do rags. I got a pink do rag. I got pink do rag. Yo, with a plug. Am I allowed to show brands here? Um, I guess. Yeah, sure. Free, free uh, advertising. Free promo. Yo, we selling some for the low, three for the five, five for the ten. Yeah. So I got a pink do rag. Fire. The mm. pink room do rag. Fire. Breast you know? cancer awareness month. Of course, you know, and all silky. You know, yeah, I have to yeah. get the black one. So you know, that, I'm gonna try. Who knows, man? Who? Maybe my hair catches a nice little Yo, pattern. I'm, I'm you, you know what I'm saying? saying? Let's see we how that goes. We gotta get a new I'm down intro video with you in like a tank top. <laughs> And I do That's not on. happening. Yeah. I would I would take a picture and say nah, Merry Christmas man. for Christmas. I would definitely do that. All right. So what do, what do you think? What do you think? You think I, this is a, a a yay or nay uh, move on my okay, part? I've been telling you, I'm a visionary. Right? Okay. Okay. I, half of the things that you decided to do, uh-huh. I told you way back. Yeah. Like, yeah. For example, sure. when I was like, Yo, let your beard grow like deep. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. were like, Nah, bro, it's gonna get scruffy. Yeah. Now you're like, Yo, you let yeah, that yeah. go. Well, you know, Gucci. I I this is the thing. I like it, but. I remember I had a poll on my Instagram too. Like I voted like, yo, should I shave a yes or no, right? Um, it was kind of split. Like a lot of, and more people said no than yes. But I don't know. Like I, I like the beat. I don't mind the beat at all. But then I get like those like, like I guess every, every now and then. Yeah, people yeah. like, oh, well, maybe you should trim it down a little bit. And I be thinking like, oh, should I? And then, yeah. then I go to the place like, eh, I don't know. I don't, yeah. it don't matter. Like I, I think and, it and good. And the waves, I told you, I'm like, yo, now you're getting that. Because you were getting this bald head Tasha looking here. I well, like, I, I was getting one and a half. This is not called a ball head Tasha. Tasha. One and a half. Because you get a guy. Like, Every time I got the one and a half, like I got a, called got, Bad Bunny. That's not even a mid uh, fade. You got like a pretty high fade. It's a so, mid, yeah, it is a little bit higher. It's, it's a pretty high fade. So yeah. when you got a one and a half, you got a one and a half here, but you got a, like a zero here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's you, like mad. Yeah, true, so true, true. It's like true. a ball head Tasha. Right. I, I get you, I get you. I and get so you. I was like, the proportionality of those things don't match up. Get yeah, some yeah. waves on the top. You can start looking a little like Juicy yeah, Juicy, yeah. right? Juicy Juicy. Juicy Drake. And no, Juicy Juicy. I don't know. <laughs> because you can be Drake. You're not Drake yet. He's like, you know, I like a couple be inches taller and a couple pounds More than a couple inches. Drake by like, what, 6'1", six six by like 2 some. Two, 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 like 220? Nah, nah, 220 is too much. Maybe like 200. He's fat. <laughs> he's not fat. He's swollen now. Come he's on stocky. now. He's Come on. We all saw the fear of God when he wore the fear of God shorts and the little he's headband. Stocky. Nah, stocky. bro. He's stocky. He's stocky. He get he get in there. You he know what I'm saying? He get in there. He get some back yeah, muscles. Yeah, he get in there. He get in there. All right, bro. But I've been told you, and you were like, nah, bro. It's gonna look wild. Yeah or nay, then? So yeah, yeah for sure. What you think, for Fatima? Sure. That should go for waves or no? What you think? But you gotta get like them deep waves. You know what I'm talking about? Like like the ones that like. Well, like, let first have like ditches. Yeah, them. I mean, let's see what happens. I mean, this is gonna take a while. I'm, I'm like, this is yeah, gonna take but, months. But you, you gotta know? be committed to the process. Like, yeah. you give up halfway through and be like, oh no, 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 no. I, I already got, I already got the shits. You know, so at this point, <laughs> I gotta stick to it. Like, I, I don't think yeah, I'll give yeah. up. But let's, let's see what happens. You know, what I'm saying maybe you know a new so look comes out of new this. New Year resolution. We're gonna get waves. Yeah, why not? Get some naps. I mean, on. I, I'm gonna wear my do rags, but it's only gonna be um. Get some naps. On. Yeah, I'm only wearing my do rags like at home. I'm gonna start selling. I'm gonna start
Just whatever. Just put them down. Let, let, let's, let's wrap that thing up. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Ain't, I, ain't, ain't no, I, I think no for harm. dudes, like, hairstyles is such a, like, a big decision. For sure, for sure. Like, you only got two choices. You either think it real through yeah. or you pull a trigger yeah. real quick. Hell yeah. I mean, no, for no, girls. No, for girls, it's a given. It's clearly, a given. yes, yes, I yes. Just, I just think we would understand, like, a dude with his hair has a connection, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing with me is I always like the uh, easiness. You get me? So not, like... My sh- my showers have always been long. The thing, my process of getting ready just longer now because like, okay, now I gotta put beard oil. Now I gotta brush, comb. Now I gotta uh, brush my hair. You know, it's like it's more more stuff I guess to it. So it's like it adds on like to your day. But eh, I would just try it out. Let's see how it goes. You know, whatever. I, I won't stop till I get waves though. Like, nah, yeah, you, know, you gotta. I, I mean, I've seen I've seen what? people with straight hair uh, get waves. Yeah, yeah. Like, so anybody can get waves at this point. Nah, nah, what I, I've saw, seen. I saw a dude that chico get like a full like deep ditches, yeah, you know yeah. like the full ridges. yeah like the whole. Yeah. So man, let's see, let's see uh, how this goes, you know. But hey, man, so you best got, man yeah, and trying to get waves. Journey. Best man gonna be wearing a and trying uh, to get a rental yeah, with yeah. some deeper waves out here. Yeah. And those rental shoes that come included. Nah, I'm not. I'm not wearing no rentals, no yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be rental zero. You got to, you got to. No, no, to. there's no. I'm not. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is fact. I'm telling you right now. This <laughs> is fact. Like, nah, hell, nah, hell, I nah, might, I might, you know, talking about we might do Indochino. Yeah, oh, I talked yeah? to Lewis. Yeah, I think they got really good suits, really good patterns. And, you know, they already sent it to you somewhat tailored and anything else. You know, you just add on the little touches. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you can I think go it's to decent. the Indochino and then do yeah, the measurements here. Right, you could. True. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They have one in Aventura. Yeah, so. No, they have one in Brickle, too. Oh, like, oh that's right. In the city center, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's you see. Your measurements there. I mean, it? the thing is that they're going budget, and I don't know what that looks like. You get me? I don't know. Like, and Lewis, knowing Lewis, Lewis always, like, on his cheap stuff. He always says it himself. He's like, yeah, I'm cheap, bro. Like, you know, so yeah, it's but, like, but hey, I, if whatever. If I'm not mistaken, bro. the only person who tends to usually buy his suit is the um, the, the man who's getting married because he wants to keep that as a member, just like a woman keeps her dress. Hey, if you do that, cool. I'm I'm, which, I'm definitely buying my which suit. Which I though. think is an investment if you're going to use yeah. it again. Like. But whenever I'm wearing any suit, I'm buying it. I'm not. Yeah. And if I got a rental, it better be like tailored to the T. That may be a little divish, but uh, it's you know, okay. You know, I, I, I think that goes for everybody. I rented once for a wedding. Luckily, I guess my measurements are pretty, like my special are pretty like close to what you consider an average person. Gotcha. So that that suit looked like tailored. Really? So it yeah, looked good on it you? It looked really good on me. Oh, that's like so the person good. who gave me the suit was like, yo, this looks like it belongs to you. So the que- would you have worn that suit if it wasn't, if it didn't fit you right though? Nah. No, right? You just won't feel comfortable. It's specifically really like, like, look, I can give a little weight on the chest. I can give a little bit of space or whatever. Yeah. But I can't give on the pants. You see how I wear my pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You need so your luckily, the pants and this suit fit like accordingly. I was yeah. like, oh. I, I wasn't down with the shoes though. I wore the shoes, but I was not fitting the shoes. Yeah, yeah. I did it at a submission uniformity. No blah, socks blah, blah. or socks. Nah, I had to wear socks. Those socks. shoes were ugly. I <laughs> got shoes, you. I so they were. It was. It was a no go. It was a no go on the shoes, but I did it because you know I'm trying to be a team player. Yeah, of course, of course. But well, I mean, look, I, I would say this. Um, today some of him was friends. Are uh, interesting people in a positive way. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting. Going with this. Yeah, very interesting people. So let's let's see how this uh, thing pulls out. You know, we'll give you guys a, a recap. You know what I'm saying? George uh, gets married. I mean, George goes to him. No, that would never. <laughs> Actually, um, that's funny because I remember a long time ago I always said that Lewis is gonna be the first one, right? Out of like that little group, it's gonna be Lewis, uh, KP. I ain't gonna lie though. I thought Kevin would be married by now. Really? Yeah. Like, KP's next. No, no, I know okay. he's now. He's obviously next. Yeah, it's yeah, not he's you. Next. He's next. Well, no, but but I'm saying, but like, like, but should, but you, out of that, like, out of us five, right? Meaning, meaning, Lewis, Kevin, Abby, China, myself, uh, Pino's next. I think that after that is some. I, I think it's gonna be China because I think China's gonna get more sprung before Abby does, and. I mean, clearly, I'm never fucking getting married in my fucking <laughs> life. I know you got so, no sense in there. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So then I, I call Abby. That, that's my bet. So I think so far I'm, it's gonna go. It's gonna go good. I, I, I that, thought that's my call. Be, I don't know about them, but I always thought between it would be Kev and then Luke. Oh nah, nah, nah. you really? Yeah, I always thought that way. Me too. Nah, 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 nah. Me too. I always thought it would be Kevin, then Lewis. Nah. I, I've been calling Lewis for a long time. Yeah, now. yeah. Yeah, L- Lewis, Lewis, a, a lover boy. Like he's like a, that, that sweet, you know. He calls his girl babe and I love you and he's all this like you know romanticizing. Hey, that's just how he is. So uh, I, I, nah, Lewis is going to be a, first. He's a good guy. He's yeah, a yeah, good guy. yeah, yeah. Lewis, uh, yeah, I, I think so to a degree. Like when he sleeps, he's a good guy. When he sleeps, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. Yo, you gonna ruin his <laughs> reputation before he gets married, homie? Nah, nah. He knows. You know, he, he, he cool guy sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Cool guy sometimes. Like the fact that you kind of study on that more. You're like, sometimes it's. 
No, it's not that. It's just we it's just wrong. Like, it's not that. It's just wrong. Like saying somebody's great. Like Chris is good too when he's sleeping. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah. When you're sleeping, even, you're a great guy. No, even there, sometimes I snore. I'm, I'm be honest with you. I'm be honest with you though. Sometimes I snore. Bro. I, and I'm gonna call this now in the podcast. I probably said it before, but I want to get it as much times as I can. So I, when I go ever go back on video and have to cop these, it's not too much time consuming. But you're gonna get punched in your face, and I've been sending you guys. Oh, facts, facts, I've been sending you facts, guys, facts, you and Fatima, facts. like you know, tweets and stuff like that. Facts. I see like a girl. The the closest one's the girl slapping the shit out that guy while he sleeps, and then asleep. asleep. Yeah. He's like, yeah. shit. Yeah. And, you know, she's like, what, yeah. what, what what happened? And he's like, <laughs> he's so confused so this audience. I was like, oh man, that's Chris, right? <laughs> that's and, Chris. And it's not even gonna be something worth hitting me for. No, like, for it's sure. gonna be like. It's gonna be like, yo, some girl really smiled at you today too much. Yeah. Like, why are you gonna be so nice? Yeah. Why are you gonna be such a good person? Like, yeah, why are you gonna yeah. be so likable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh. You know, and, and she looked at me crazy, but I had this discussion with her a couple of days ago. She goes, You are a really good person. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah. Look, again, fellas, for you guys listening out there, I said this before and I'll say it again. When your relationship is going too good, you gotta cheat. Your girlfriend you gotta is cheat. happy. You gotta cheat. Your girlfriend is proud. She, y'all not arguing no more. She is going, you have to do something to bring up tension in the relationship. Because if you don't do it, she's gonna do it. And she's gonna do it like off of like some spiteful shit. You're gonna be like very no, confused. And the problem is she's gonna do it on something that normally she would have complimented you for. Yeah, exactly. Like like you know, exactly. normally you like dude, like everybody else is wilding out, you that dude stays home. Yeah. She's gonna actually gonna hit you with that. You're so boring. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, what? Exactly. Uh, at first, like, you know, I just want somebody to, you know, just chill home, watch movies with. And the minute you become that person and mm-hmm. everything's going well, it's like, no, no, so, something's mm-hmm. off. Look, man, girls need something to fix. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They, they need, they yep, need, yep. they, if your house is clean all the time, she gonna get mad. Look at this motherfucker cleaning this shit. The fucking house is nice. Bathroom spotless. She don't got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Girls need she something to do. She feels useless. Yeah, girls need something to do. Girls, girls no. Girls and they feel get mad. needed. They feel needed. They want to be feel needed. Like, if you're too much of a good person who doesn't have a problem they can fix, they're like, why am I here? Look, man. Girls love, love. A hoodlum they can fix. Exactly. Girls love the bad boys for that reason. Because, yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to fix this motherfucker right here. This guy is going to fall in love with me. He's going to change his ways. That's that's just what it is. That's exactly, but that's exactly why the girls complaining on Twitter about like, oh, all niggas ain't shit and guys are this and motherfuckers that and right, right. It's like, why are y'all complaining? Y'all need that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need a guy you can fix. Like, you don't want a guy to come to you perfect already, that, that, that mature. That, you don't that, want that. that. That's like perfect, mature, blah blah blah. You didn't grow with him. He's not. First of all, he's not wilding out on Twitter. <laughs> so, yes. So stop going on Twitter no, to look for him. The, the thing is that when you get that guy, you don't want that guy nope, though, because nope. that means that you didn't struggle with somebody, you didn't grow with somebody. You get what I'm saying? Like, you want the guy that's like, yo, like, we've been through our shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we had. I, I know the, you. The real talk. Girls be feeling insecure. They be yeah. like, yeah, he's really good. Yeah, like, he's, he's really good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and now you like, start to think like, she's damn. like, am I at his level now? Right? Now you start to think like, yeah. damn, like, is he cheating? Is yeah. he like, you know, like, they're going to make some shit up in the Because look, if you think about it, every girl, even the one you sent me on Twitter the other day, it's like, I want a guy that, you know, just has ambition, has goals, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have a guy that already has it all, yeah. then at that point, you're like, damn, maybe I'm not good enough for him. He's going to cheat on me. Exactly. He's going to lie. Yes, he's going to do something. That happens. All right, let me, wait, before we, do you, do you agree with that? As a girl, do you agree with that? That like you girls want somebody that you could fix, so you agree with that? Yeah. Damn, you see, I'm glad Fatima is slowly. You know what I'm saying starting to like, yeah, she's trying to like you know realize some shit. She's not full of shit anymore <laughs> as much as she was. Cause Fatima, you know, when Fatima was a little younger, especially like in in like the beginning of our down with her conversation, she was full of shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She wanted to be she wanted to be idealistic. Yeah, she was full. Of, look, man, uh, girls in the club, right? The uh, the iconic yeah, Fatima yeah, moment. Yeah. I mean, shit, I dress bro. for myself. No, that's bullshit. Did you like the conversation we were having nah, about the guys and girls? No, I don't compare because it's not the same thing. It's the same thing. It ain't the same thing. It's the same thing. We're going to go through another three hours. Nah, we're not going through another three hours. It's the same thing. But you still think women dress for men? When they go to the club, yeah. Of course they do. So, yeah, let me tell you something, man. I don't understand. I'm not against this conversation. I'm just saying I'm, I'm going to put this out in the air and I want you guys to think about it, right? If... You're a girl, and you're not single, right? You have a boyfriend at home, right? And you say, oh, let's go have a girls' night out, right? So you girls get together, and you are going to dress the best you've ever dressed all year round. If you, if you think about it, right? If you, if you want to define the best outfits of 2019, I guarantee you that the best outfits of 2019 are you at the club. <laughs> I guarantee you that it wasn't at work. 
I guarantee you that wasn't you chilling at home. Huh? I've been dripping. But not not like you drip when you in the club. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee that it wasn't at, in your house. I've been looking fresh that, at the club. Yeah, I guarantee, but now that you look in the club. Now PJ's Gucci though. This, look, look, look. The, Gucci, the minute though. you hit the club, you hit the X's on the makeup. Because everybody, everybody goes ham. Yeah, look. On your regular day, you you can probably, you know, use a little cheap makeup, a little whatever. You don't care. When it's time to go out, oh, okay. Let me, yo, what's a good makeup brand? Let me bring out my Fenty. What else? What else? Sephora? Sephora popping? It's a store? Ah, right, whatever. Yeah, I know what I mean. And, and, and it's the same thing for guys. It's the same thing for guys. Okay, you know, you're getting too, too Just deep name dropping. Just head on name dropping. The, 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 point, the point here is that, you know, the, your top outfits are nine times out of ten when you was out in the club. Yeah. If you really think about it. Let's be honest. You get me? Because that's when you're like, oh, I'm going to put on this dress. I'm going to put on these heels. You know what I'm saying? Red bottoms. Y- y- what, what are your best outfits of 2019? I bet they've been when you've been out. When you go out and about, I'm not saying, you, I know you don't do the clubs and stuff like that, but I'm saying when you go out and about, what's your, okay, your version of the club is going to church. That's your version of the club. What, what, how do you, you do you not oh. put it? Jesus, this guy <laughs> just died. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I wish you could have seen this big fail, like just a huge fail. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like, roll, you gotta roll, bro. Wait, what is that? Wait, that's like a meme. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. 2019 was gonna be my year, but <laughs> you gotta roll, bro. <laughs> you gotta roll. <laughs> oh, what a fail. Yeah, man. So, you know, your your version of going to the club is going to church on Sundays. And that's when you put the thought into your outfits. You know what I'm saying? Besides that, you you look like a bum probably the, mo- the majority yeah. of the time. But look, at work, you wear uniforms. At the house, but last time you did a face call, bro, a face sign call. Shit, rough, right? Oh, like, what happened to Fatima, rough. bro? You like, you just woke up. That shit was looking crazy, bro. <laughs> but you know, hey, yeah, live your truth, all right? <laughs> yeah, live your truth, <laughs> live your truth out here. It's hard to be pretty, bro. Yes. It's hard to be pretty. So you know, I'm just, I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? When you go to the club and you dress that fire, you don't, you know that, like, yo, this. I, I don't gone to work. I know at work I have like you know the strict dress code. You know what I'm saying? I gotta wear this, that, yeah. and the third. But now you get to go out. You know what I'm saying? You know who I'm about to hit the club. I'm about to go with my girls. You're about to go and take out that little black dress. or Oh, no, that's for dates, right? That's, true. that's for dates. Well, or, or the little black dress means that I never failed. Okay, exactly. That's what you're about to go in there. You know what I'm saying? You're about to put on that dress. The money maker. Yes, you're about to put on the makeup. You're about to put on the heels. You're about to really, you know what I'm saying, try to look your best, right? And when you're out in the club and you're with your girls, right? And you're having a good time. You're having drinks. You're dancing together. Everything's going nice. You want people to look at you because you don't put so much effort into this. You know what I'm saying? You're not chilling like that at the house. When a group of guys comes over and they don't talk to you, huh? Oh, you feel huh. salty. You, feel you might salty. not say nothing, but you know in the back of your head, you're like, shit, bro. Like, I thought I looked good. What she got that I don't got. Exactly. You know, so, look, man. Again, I just want to put that in the atmosphere, in the ecosystem. <laughs> y'all could, uh, y'all could uh, marinate, take it. Marinate yes. on that. And on that think y- about. Y- y'all tell me what y'all think. You know what I mean? But I, I think that's just how it goes. It's, it's the same thing for guys, man. Look, man, first of all, guys is always going to be like that. Like I said it before. Guys, like the reason guys want the nice car and all that stuff, I get it. Yeah, it's for you. Whatever. <laughs> we all know yeah, that's a that big it looks like good it. when you pull up to the club in a Rolls Royce. Then you pull up in an Altima. Yeah. Or or, may, or maybe let's not go to those extremes. If you pull up in the C two fifty, it looks much better than if you pull up in a in a Civic. You know what I'm saying? It just looks better. But it's a sport version. <laughs> yeah, but the C two fifty is a sport version too. <laughs> no, but with I the red seat belts. I got, I got that twin. Got with the twin. red seat Who cares? It just looks better. You know what I'm saying? When you come out the car, right? And, yeah, you're saying the little the little ring is more is more interesting yeah, than age. Yes, it is. It's just true. Look, when you come out, when you step out of the car, right, and you got on diamond necklaces, and you're in the club, and it's shining, you're just sparkling like a little chandelier. And then you put some bop in it. <laughs> yeah, you know, and even if it's fake, it don't matter. You know, guys wear fake jewelry. Yeah, guys wear fake jewelry all the time. Now, that looks better than you not being able to shine. You know, that that's just how how it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that like you don't like what you're wearing or you don't like what you're driving. I'm sure you like it. But you also know that the biggest benefit of this is the fact that people are going to look at you and be like, wow, this guy looks successful. This guy looks yeah, rich. Yeah, yeah. You know? You're going to be an attraction. Yeah. A so, point of conversation. Yeah, so, you know, that, that, that's just how, you know, it, it, go, it goes down. Is it my fault? No, it's not my fault. I'm just sorry for realizing it and telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's just really how it goes down. Like, you're that's, dumb, just, Jim, that's, that's all you're it is, man. Jim. Hey, man, look. I'm not here, you know what I'm saying, to necessarily guide you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be looked at as like a... 
a like leader, a sensei or uh, something like that. Cause I'm not that person. That's you. You know what I'm saying? I you're know you're the is. leader for sure. You know, but I do wanna you know every now and then just you know. Tell some truth. Talk, in talk some shit. Tell you know some what I'm saying? Talk some day. shit that that's break, some break through the nonsense. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I, I would say this. Though. I think that um, a lot of people they need to be able to change their perspectives. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, th- I think that when you just have one perspective, it's wrong. You know what I mean? I think that's selfish on your part for one because you're not even open to seeing somebody else's point of view. I think it's important that you have different points of views. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. So and some of them are just wrong, like yours, but it's okay, guys. No, mine's like 100% right, but hey, you Have know? the confidence to say your hey. dumb opinions with George's <laughs> certainty. <laughs> it's, it's just the truth. <laughs> one, one more thing I will say, though. Be careful who you listen to, though, because if you don't have if conviction, you're, yeah, if you don't have no conviction and you don't get stand played. for something, yeah, you don't get played by by the next person who says some shit. That's how you end it. That's how you end up in Herbalife. All right, you believe that? You believe <laughs> exactly. that? Exactly. You heard them boys talking. You, be like, oh, you can become a no, no. The worst part is, is when you're selling it though, because you know you see all these guys come up on stage like you. I became a millionaire and I became. And I'm not saying that you didn't. Maybe you did. You know what I'm saying? But let's be honest. From what we hear, shit sounds fucked up. From, yeah, at least from yeah. what we hear, you know what I'm saying. So it's it's a it's a tricky uh, little situation. But hey, hey, you know it is what it is, man. You got you got anything else to say, bro? I don't know. I don't bro. talk enough I, shit I think today. You gave him a, a couple of things yeah. to think about. Yeah, no, I like to. I want to keep these podcasts a little bit shorter. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I think we, a get, we got a little too excited last yeah, night. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. We're like an hour and forty yeah. minutes. It was yeah. it was too long. Too long. You know. So anything else to say to the to the peoples of uh, of I'm down? Everything you heard from George, do the opposite. Also. That means somebody's calling me. We are selling durags. Also, George got a Romeo and Juliet situation here. Where she <laughs> yes, clearly. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. Where are you, B? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's my mom and somebody locked her out, bro. All right, All right man. Till next time. Peace.